All right, let's get to the bottom of this, because this is kind of alarming. Uh, some, a tenth child now has died from a viral outbreak at that pediatric rehab center up in Passaic County, North Jersey. The children are being cared for at the Wanaku Center. Their deaths resulted from the respiratory virus called adenovirus, and the health department has ordered the facility to stop taking new patients until the virus is contained. Now, this is why we're concerned down here. In Camden County, we now have an outbreak. I don't know if you call it an outbreak. We have cases. This one is at the Voorhees Pediatric Facility, <clears throat> excuse me, where four children have now con uh, contracted this virus. According to preliminary testing, health officials say the virus is not the same strain that killed the children, 10 of them, in Passaic County. So, Dr. Cottle, we have you back. Yeah, it's good to and see I you. And I swear the last time you were here, you said this adenovirus is fairly common. It's very common. Yeah. Very common. Right. Why is it killing kids up north? The likelihood, and that's a great question, that's what people want to know. If it's so common, then what's the problem now? The likelihood is that, you know, these children in these facilities, remember these are pediatric long-term care facilities. So there are children that are likely on ventilators, that have weakened immune systems, that require long-term care. Okay. Their body <clears throat> is not able to fight off viruses and bacteria, probably like someone who is otherwise healthy. And that's likely one of the reasons why we're seeing this. The strain also does matter, too. You mentioned something important, right. that the strain that we're seeing in North Jersey may be different than the one in South Jersey, so that probably makes a difference too. But honestly, this is a virus that I said this last week when I was here. You and I, I probably get this virus every year. You probably do too, because it can cause things like the common cold, etc. And that's what makes me concerned. And so, right. if if <clears throat> everyone gets it, let's say it's a common thing, should we be that much more concerned if there's a different strain? Does that mean well, it's going? How much of a difference could it make? Yeah, you know, that's a really good question. And and, that, and that's one of the things that I know the New Jersey State Department or the Health Department rather, mm -hmm. and CDC officials, they have infection control folks out at the different sites monitoring, doing investigations, and also looking at trends. It is possible that a certain strain of adenovirus is more what we call virulent than other strains. Mm -hmm. um, and so that, that is possible. Meaning so that to, it's harder to treat? Harder or? to treat or maybe more deadly or more uh, problematic for certain people. That is very likely. It's possible. All right, here's another question, sure. Dan. Let's see. You may not know the answer okay. to this. Okay. The Voorhees facility, is it for at-risk Children, it's patients? also a pediatric care facility. Okay, so That's exactly right. Uh, that is a common denominator. And honestly, it's funny. I was talking to some of my doctor colleagues, like my partner in the office last night. I was saying, yeah, I'm coming on this morning to talk about this. She and I both feel like, you know, this does warrant investigation. Interestingly enough, these are both pediatric care facilities. We're not saying that the facility is doing anything wrong, but we want to look at infection control. Well, we know the North Jersey one has been. They've had some violations. Some citations. Mm -hmm. um, so we want to see about hand washing precautions. Yeah. Is there some common denominators with equipment, things like that? Again, there's, there's no claim that this is happening, but this certainly is warrant in time for investigation, and that's what's, that's what's happening. They were saying that the kids over in Voorhees are not as not as. Yes, sick. I read that as well, that they're not as sick as yeah, the facilities. Camden County they're not as sick. Yeah, the Voorhees right, right. facility. But yes. remember, adenovirus is a virus that we think of that's pretty robust. It sometimes is hard to kill with disinfectants, and it tends to happen in children more than adults, and it can be more common in places where there's lots of people. So these are facilities where there are lots of kids that are being treated, adults, etc. Yeah. <clears throat> so it's going to be more likely probably in environments like this in mm. general. And what I meant by not as safe because they're alive. Right. I'm not talking about the ones that have passed. Uh, they still have a, quite a few sick kids up there in North Jersey. Right. They're trying to survive this thing. Right, right. No, absolutely. No, there's uh, at least over 20, 27 yeah. maybe that have been, that have contracted the illness. So, you know, this is, I know parents are out there wondering, okay, so what's the, what do I do and, wh you know, what do I do? This is where we go back to our basic hand hygiene and our basic hygiene. Get your flu shot. Flu shot does not protect against adenovirus, but it's still important. Wash your hands. Make sure you're wiping down surfaces. If you're sick, don't go to work. Don't send your kid to school. You know, those are things that we can all be doing. That's really important. And should we have more checks of uh, pediatric facilities? Well, and also making sure that we're, we're functioning up to regulations mm -hmm. and that, you know, that the standards are maintained. That's very important. Um, will you hang around the commercial break? Because sure. we want to talk to you about this next story. Okay.